I'm going to ask you something. What's your name? Rucha. 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 I'm going to talk about Rucha, not this Rucha, but another Rucha. And that Rucha likes kitten, but dislikes soap. Now, your task is to figure out general rules to find out what the things are that Rucha likes and what she dislikes. How do you draw a line? How can you tell? So, for example, if I tell you, does Rucha like or dislike chairs? You can't tell, right? Okay, now I'll tell you. She dislikes chairs. What I want to do is to now be able to tell without my telling you what she dislikes and what she likes. You can ask me questions, I'll tell you initially, first few cases. All right? Yeah. She likes living creatures. She likes living creatures. Okay. Rucha likes living creatures. Does she like non living creatures? Uh, only this, right? And only living creatures. Okay, let's test. I'm going to call this a law. You know the word law, scientific law, right? Of course, this applies to only this person, so you shouldn't actually call it a law, but I'm going to call it a law. A law that applies only to Rucha. The first thing to do is to find out if this is true it, with respect to what we are here. Yes, kitten is a living creature, soap is not, chairs is not. It works, but let's get more data and see if it works. Let's, let's find out. You ask me, I'll tell you the data. But she mustn't be liking dogs, because dogs double kitten. Okay, so, so ask me a question. Does she like dogs? Does she like dogs? Okay, no. So that law is not true. Okay. Try something else. She likes soft things. She likes? Soft things. Hope is also soft thing. The dog is also soft. <laughs> <laughs> who, who said soft things? Okay. How do you, can you respond to their objections? It's your classmates. Do you want to modify? Anybody else? So I'm going to remove this and you can suggest something else. Okay, let's, you know, let's get some more data. This is way too little. You have just one thing here and you're making wild guesses. Obviously, if you make those wild guesses, it wouldn't work. Some more, try some more. Yeah. Cute and attractive things she likes. Cute and attractive. Let's get some more data first. Ask me more questions. Before, before, okay. This is what you're doing. You are trying to, have you heard the word conjecture? Yeah. Yeah, the word conjecture appears in mathematics. Okay, a conjecture is like a theorem. You know what mathematical theorem is? Okay, uh, some mathematician thinks about it and say, this could possibly be true. When a mathematician thinks that some proposition might be true, is likely to be true, they call it a conjecture. So they think somebody sits in sync. So maybe if you add up all the angles of a triangle, it is 180 <coughs> degrees. Then they call it a conjecture. But how do you know if it is true? For that, you provide a proof. Once you prove that the conjecture is true, then you say it's a theorem. In science, we do something similar. We come up with a conjecture and say, for example, I think that people with mustache are more intelligent than people without mustache. That's my, you know, but I have to, I have to prove it, okay? Once I prove it or provide evidence for it, then it becomes accepted as knowledge, right? So what you're proposing here are actually conjectures, your, your guesses, right? A conjecture is a kind of reasonable guess, of course. Saying that people with mustache are more intelligent is not a reasonable guess, but it doesn't matter. It happens to be true because I have a mustache. Uh, so, you tried a few conjectures, but let's get some more data. Ask me she, questions. Does she like human beings? Does she like humans? She likes cats. Cats? Yeah. Dolls? Dolls? Babies? Babies? Flowers? Flowers? TV? 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 Puppies? Puppies? Knowledge? Knowledge. Knowledge. Stories. Stories. Sports. Food. Food. School. School. Friends. Parents. Parents. She likes her house. House. Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Shopping. Manner. Nature. Manner. Camping. Stories. Nature. Okay. I'm going to write nature and then I'm going to say something. Now, what? I have a doubt. Yeah. If she doesn't like stories and knowledge, then how, how can she like books? I don't know, ask her. <laughs> it's not here. It's not this closer. It's for you to figure out. Right? 
Now, but when you ask, does she like parents or does she like babies, etc., you have to have some reason for asking. You don't blindly ask. You must have some conjecture. You are asking these questions to test the conjecture. Right? You know what a conjecture is now. Why did you say parents? What was your conjecture? Who said parents? Yeah. What was your guess when you said that? You were okay. So maybe most of you didn't think of you know, a possible conjecture. So now I want you to shift your mindset a bit. Think of a conjecture and ask me a question to get the data to see if the conjecture is true. Now, think of a conjecture and then ask me a question. Okay, what's your conjecture? She likes puppies and why not dogs? I mean... No, what is your conjecture? That she likes uh, young organisms. Young organisms? Yeah, like puppies and kittens, but she doesn't like dogs. So, it's kind of... You, when, you, when you form a conjecture and get more data, you should check if the conjecture is true. Yeah. So does it apply to this? Does it apply to this? So okay. So as soon as you form a conjecture in your mind, the first thing that you do is to check if it is true. If it works. And then form a conjecture, only if it works. Yeah. Does she like to be alone? What's your conjecture? When she doesn't like to be at home with her parents. So form it as a stated as a conjecture. She likes things, or should, should, she dislikes things related to home. Yeah. Okay? She dislikes things related to home. Now check if it is true. She doesn't like to be in the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one, yeah. Look at the board and tell me if your conjecture is true. Yeah? Partially. Yes. Partially, so okay. Then that doesn't work. She likes to be alone. Okay, now tell me why she likes shopping. Sir, she she doesn't like to be at home. She always likes to be out of her house. So, she likes she likes to be at home she and not like outside home. She doesn't like to be at home. But she oh, she doesn't like to be at home. She likes to be out of her house. Will that explain cleanliness? Dolls? She carries dolls, dolls with her. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you're having difficulties with this? Sometimes when you try to look at nature and form conjectures and start asking questions, sometimes you have at the back of your mind you have something that you're taking for granted. And what you take for granted quite often makes you blind to certain possibilities. These are sometimes we call presuppositions and what you what you're not even aware of. And there is something that you're not aware of, but I can see that you are going by that assumption. assumption that you have sitting inside your brain, which you are not aware of but you are taking for granted, is that what we are discussing are things. Let me now reveal to you something about Ruja. These things that I have written before are not things, these are words. So we are not talking about shopping, we are talking about the word shopping, the English word shopping. Hold on, one minute, one minute. Let, let that sink in first, then I'll ask you, okay? Do, do you understand the difference? So, a horse is a thing, or is an animal, but the word horses or horse is different. We're talking about the word, not the thing, or the animal called horse, right? Okay. The words have double letters. Okay, so let's try. You change your assumption, you realize it is word, and the conjecture is Rucha likes words with double letters and only words with double letters. Is that right? Is that what you meant? Now, test. Test the hypothesis. Let's see. Shopping. What are the double letters? All right. Cleanliness? Hit me? Dogs, books, puppies, food, school. So that works for that side. What about this one? Any double letters anywhere here? No. no. So your principle is correct. So what did we learn from this exercise? What did we learn about science? What does this exercise illustrate about the nature of science? What do scientists do? Yeah. They observe. What did you observe here? Yeah. What did you do to make these observations? 
Thinking is not observation. Like